Uh, I have many leather-bound books, and my apartment smells of rich mahogany. Hey howdy hey people of the internet, Wolfman47 Dash here, here with your second and final whole slash unboxing slash tasting of January, although actually it's just a whole to be honest with you, so yeah. So for those of you who are who aren't too familiar with how these videos go, it's usually after every third topical vlog that I do a whole slash unboxing slash whatever. Um just to show you what I've got and yeah, just go from, and just go from there. Um, it's yeah, and this time it's just really just stuff I've bought. No, no boxes, no stuff to try or anything. And yeah, okay. So let's get to it. So I promised I'd show off some stuff that I received from that I bought from Benidorm. And first up, it's this it's this uh, fridge magnet. So you can see that there. So that's Benidorm fridge magnet. <laughs> there were a lot of places that sold a lot of fridge magnets in Benidorm, some quite suggestive ones, like there was a few that sold um, some quite suggestive content, which I'm not going to say. Uh, <laughs> you, can, you can probably use your imagination for that, so yeah. Um, and there was a place called The Duck Shop, and as you, as some of you know, I do like collecting rubber ducks, and here's the rubber duck I got. It's a sort of robot-like duck. I'm not sure if it's to do with any particular franchise or anything, but yeah, it's a robot duck for that. So yeah. So, um, my local uh, Blu-ray slash DVD slash uh, CD shop called FOP, which is our HMV, was doing a sale on Blu-rays of uh, last year's releases. Well, actually, no, not last year's releases, just um, a few of the big releases. I uh, send them for £10 each, so I bought a few of those. So, first up is Thor Love and Thunder. Now, I'll admit I'm not a huge fan of this particular Marvel film. I didn't think it was that good, but I bought it anyway because it is actually one of the few Christian Bale films that I do like, um, and it does have stuff to do with um, the LGBTQ stuff because I know it was released during the the time of Pride, um, and it is meant to be a sort of feel good Marvel film, even though it's not actually all that great. But I'm collecting these anyway just to build up my just to complete my collection of Marvel films. So yeah, that's why I got that. Uh, going to the other side of the comic books, um, next we have Blue Beetle. Now, of the DC Extended Universe films that were released last year, Blue Beetle was one of the few that I actually did, in, did enjoy. Um, even, though, even though, according to James Gunn, it's got nothing to do with the rest of the of those DC films. It's just a standalone film. Um, but yeah, I got that. So that's that one. Uh Moving back to Marvel, one of the few good films of Phase 4, Black Panther were kind of forever. So this was the last film of uh, Phase 4. And I have found out recently that Kevin Feige said that um, going forward, the Multiverse Saga films will just feature films that do that are connected to one another. But then there was also some standalone films such as this one, which is intentionally trying to be a tribute to the late and great Chadwick Boseman. Um much like with how Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is a conclusion to the Guardians films and yada yada yada. So that's that. Uh, and yes, I did go see it in the end, uh, Barbie. Um, I actually really enjoyed Barbie. I thought it was not going to be very good, but I actually enjoyed it more than I thought. And the thing is, um, I actually do like Margot Robbie as a person. I think she's gorgeous. And I heard recently that she's going to be spend less time on the camera and more time behind the camera because she likes to be a producer more than a star. And, you know, good for her. Quit while you're ahead on the camera front and do more producing. So, yeah, good on her for that. And I thought she was great in Barbie. So, yeah. Um, now, you might remember from my last video, there was a collection I got called the Disney 55, 55 film collection. There's actually two that exist. There's one that's got 55 films and another that's got 57. Um, but I decided to get the 55 one because they're both effectively the same thing. The only difference between them is that the new one has um, sort of newer editions of, of different films. But I'm not really that bothered about having the new editions of films, just watching the films and having some bonus features, not all, but some bonus features is fine. 
So yeah, and it does have a slot for a for one film that's missing. So technically it is a 56 collection, it's just missing a disc. And that disc is Ralph Breaks the Internet. Which admittedly is not uh, is not the greatest of sequels in a while, but it's actually all, all right for, for a Disney sequel to an otherwise great video, f- film about video games. So yeah. And it's and yeah, it's does market itself as being sort of exploring different um online online websites and everything but in the end it only features a few of them and yeah but still a good film so i don't know much about this one room 237 all i know is that it's got a connection to the shining and it's probably going to be a documentary if nothing else of the making of it uh and yeah yep it is a documentary i just read the blurb it's a 30 year thing so yeah Oh, it was showing up at various film festivals. Huh, that was interesting. So yeah, that's uh, Room 237. So, uh, some more... Th- so another thing I picked up from from the amount of stuff that uh, my late dear sister had uh, was was another Simpsons DVD, The Simpsons Season 1. Now, you're probably thinking, what does this uh, rating mean? Well, this is the Australian version of The Simpsons Season 1, so they have a sort of different age rating system, and G's, te- G's basically our ver- their version of U, U which is the BBFC uh, version. So yeah, it, it's different every, for every country, but it should still work because it is because Australia is Region 2, just like which is the same as any pretty much most of Europe, which the UK is part of. So yeah. So... One that I didn't get from my sister is Simpsons, the seventh season. Um, I've decided that I'm only collecting the um, seasons that lead up to season 10 because everybody knows that the first 10 seasons are the best when it comes to the Simpsons. So, yeah, that's that one. Uh, and then another one from the Simpsons, season season 6. Um, and it's actually this season and the following season, I believe, that have the two-part episode, Who Shot Mr. Burns, which was famously known as being, for a while, the only Simpsons story that was split into two parts, and I think one that had a cliffhanger because it was like the finale of one season and the start of sec- of the other season. So, yeah, very clever writing, that one. So, there was a shop in... Benidorm that sold um t-shirts boxer shorts and socks and unfortunately we thought it had an online shop but it doesn't um but uh yeah it is a it is an interesting shop for sure it does sell a lot of great stuff but do but quite expensive um but I did end up um end up buying something from there or some or someone bought something for me for them but anyway uh Space Invaders boxer shorts that's those. I do like I do like my Space Invaders. It's a classic arcade game. So yeah. Now, moving on to some books now. So some of you know that I collect books that are part of different collections of books. So there's the DC graphic novel collection that Eagle Moss ran before they gone bankrupt. And he also ran the Legend of Batman collection uh, too, as well as the Star Trek one as well. And then there's Harshe Partworks, whatever they're called, which do um, the Marvel graphic novel collection and the Deadpool or Killer No Filler collection. So I bought a few books from three of those collections. And the first one is this one, Solo Part 1 and Solo Part 2. Now, my understanding of, of these of these is that it's not really a story per se, but it's more of a collection of one-shot um, stories featuring different characters, less different, different um DC characters that are lesser known than the big popular ones, um, all with different artists and story makers and all that, um, sort of telling their different stories. So yeah, that's that one. Uh, so the Star Trek Gaffwood novel collection had a lot of different crossover um, stories, and this is one of them. Star Trek Green Lantern, The Spectrum War. So um, this is set in the alternate reality Star Trek universe featuring the the Lantern Corps from DC Comics. And it's not the first time that they have an encounter with DC. They also encountered the Justice League at one point, I think, um, and other stuff too. I think there's also Planet of the Apes one as well, but we'll, 
But one day I will buy that and we'll show that off as well. Um, and then finally, it's uh, finally from the Legend of Batman series. It's Batman and Robin Eternal Part 1 and Part 2. I've got like the four part Batman Eternal uh, story, which is basically a story that celebrates uh, one of the milestone anniversaries of Batman by giving him an ultra, a big test that features a lot of different characters that are associated with him. So yeah, and this is just basically a continuation of that, but featuring Robin um, alongside uh, Batman. So yeah, that's the end of my haul this time. Uh, yeah, not really anything for me to try or unbox this time. I'm hoping to do more of those at some point. Uh, when I have the money and time to do that. So yeah. But for now that's all I've got to show you. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. See you next one. Peace to you all. Um, if you And if you ever build up your own collection of books. That have like a spine. That have a picture going for it. Um, always make sure you get the correct one. Because I know there's like two um, Marvel ones out there. There's one that's um, that has different pictures and everything. So do be careful with that because you never know. You might have one book, but then and realize that that's, that is the a book part of that collection, but it's not the collect that part of that particular collection. So do be careful when you do when you do that. So yeah, all right. Take care now and toodles. Watch me. Dance, dance the night away.